Let's go out to Colorado Springs. Michelle Malkin joins us every week at this time. Michelle, you know, the federal government has uh, spent, what, four or five million dollars to make sure that this guy winds up with a fair trial, and now he's doing everything he can to martyr himself using the court system. Yeah, well, he has signaled uh, that this has, was going to be his strategy for some time now, and it is a travesty, obviously, for the 14 victims who died, and I think that's important. It's one of the forgotten facts that I pointed out in my column today about Fort Hood, that in addition to the 13 soldiers, there, there was one unborn child that's right. uh, because Francesca Velez was pregnant. And uh, as this, this travesty and this circus and this farce unfolds, I think that's what the American people need to remember here, that their own government failed every one of those soldiers along with the more than 30 who were wounded because this radical deranged Islamist was uh, warning his superiors about the menace of Islamic Jihad within the ranks of the American military. He gave this explicit presentation to his superiors at Walter Reed, where he warned about uh, soldiers like himself. And he said, I am not the only one. He pointed to previous yeah. fraggings and previous uh, incidences of violence. Uh, and this the justice for the families, of course, has been delayed for right. so long because of our feckless political correctness. Yeah, well, not only to mention the justice, but what they're actually calling it, because they're still calling it workplace violence and not terror. But, right. Uh, so anyway, we'll continue to watch what happens down at the trial. In the meantime, the president is uh, out on the, well, I was going to say the campaign trail. Not really, but, but kind of. <laughs> uh, he's out on the, the campaign slash uh, economic speech trail, and at the same time, He's also mixing in some entertainment. He went on the Jay Leno show. And, you know, all presidents have done this, I guess, since Bill Clinton. But is this the new norm now? Is this where we're going to go to hear about the president's reaction to these very serious international and domestic issues? Yeah, uh, this is par for the course for Hollywood Barry. And I think it would be nice if he could save the taxpayers' money and just build a comedy set at the Oval Office, give him a live band and a sidekick. Oh, wait a minute. He's got Joe Biden. He is the sidekick. <laughs> it is a perpetual clown Harsh. show for these people. And, uh, uh, you know, to be fair to, to Jay Leno, at least Jay was not a, a complete and total groupie, mm. whitewasher and lapdog. He, he did ask him some serious questions. But is this the right venue, um, especially during a week when national security concerns are, are heightened? That's right. Um, at a time when he's just about to flit all off to Martha's Vineyard, uh, and he's supposed to be connecting with uh, the average American person. Uh, really, of course, this th there was something else going on here because after his appearance, and I pointed this out last night, the White House admitted uh, that uh, Barack Obama was meeting with Jeffrey Katzenberg, you know, one mm -hmm. of the, the biggest Hollywood heavy hitters, donors sure. and bundlers for the Obama campaign. And guess what? We didn't get to see that broadcast on national TV to see what mm. they were talking about and what they were up to. Yeah. It is pretty extraordinary, though, uh, you know, given all the news going on, and the first hard questions asked by Jay Leno, because the president, you know, his, his communications team, the strategy is keep him away from the White House uh, reporters, keep him away from everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, perhaps he should have his next um, White House press conference at the Saturday Night Live <laughs> set, I mean. Hmm. Um, yeah, but, you know, I... I uh, I, I just, I, I wonder when people will really get fed up um, with the infotainment administration that we've been saddled with. Well, it was effective during the campaign. We'll find out. Yeah. All, All right, right, Michelle. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you again next week. You too. Take care, guys.